Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon version 2 tutorial series and in this video we're going to be adding something so in the link um, in the description there's a below the video there's a link uh, to my google drive and you'll be able to download some new folders that we'll be using today so let's go into our Pokemon folder um, once you download that folder you can extract it and it will be called Charmander and you can open it up and then we're going to be importing some things so let's go to meshes right click new folder call this Pokemon open it up add another folder call this Charmander open that up and then we can open up this folder and bring in the model skeleton one and we're going to bring it in at a import uniform scale of 0.1 you should be on one it should be um, you need to set it to 0.1 okay so import and there we go and then these two materials we're going to put into our materials folder so let's go to our materials folder make a new folder and call this Pokemon Materials open that up make another folder called Charmander and that's what we're going to put them so let's go back to our Pokemon Mesh Charmander grab those two materials and drag them into the Charmander Material folder now we're going to open up that Charmander material folder, right click, and uh, make a new folder called Textures, open that up, and open up our uh, folder again, and bring in these two TGA files. And that's what we're going to do, then we're going to open up these two materials, open up the Textures folder again, and this is the eye, so we're going to bring in the eye and connect it to the base color and then on the body we're going to do the same thing just bring in the body texture and save both of them and then we need to <laughs> bring in our animations for Charmander folder um, open up animations and inside of here well it's just yeah we'll do it like that okay make a new folder we'll call this Pokemon animations Inside of here, we'll call this Charmander. And go back to our animations folder, and these two over here, we want to add to our player animations. Let's make a new folder called Player Animations, and add your locomotion and action animations to that folder. Charmander's animation folder, go back to this folder and bring in the Char Walk 4 as well as all of these. So bring those in and we'll pick a skeleton for them. The skeleton will be our model skeleton 1 skeleton and import. I think that I messed up because I didn't import it on the right scale. This could be huge. Yeah, it's huge. Okay. So don't do that. When you bring them in, uh, you want to go import uniform scale to 0.1. 
point one. And select the skeleton again. And import all. And all should be one in the world. Yeah, that's not terrible. Okay. So now, what do we need to do next? We need to name those animations. Um, again we'll just rename this one to walk this one we'll call ember uh, this one we'll call idle and the other one we won't worry about okay so back to our Pokemon folder um, blueprints Actors, and we need to make Pokemon actors. So let's make a new folder called Pokemon. And we'll open that up, and we'll make a blueprint class of type not actor character. Sorry about that. Blueprint class character, and we'll call this base Pokemon. Okay, because we're going to make the rest of the Pokemon children. Um, the mesh for the time being, we'll use the Charmander's mesh. We've got to rename that, but this will be fine. And for the time being, we'll use uh, the idle animation. Oh, that is freaking huge. They all come in so big. Wait, we got a problem. Um, let's go back to that animation folder. And let's delete all of those. And let's try re-import them again. Let's try a scale of 0.01. Skeleton and import. Okay, now we can open up this again. Go to our mesh and let's see if this works. That is better, we can work with that. So let's go find the idle. What will do? Let's rotate him to face front. 90 degrees and scan them down a whole lot. That's probably about right. Okay. So there's our Pokemon. Uh, we'll add a variable and we'll call this Pokemon details and we'll be of type Pokemon info and we'll compile and save and just leave that as is for now um, then we go to our Pokemon folder and we're going to make a new folder we're going to call this widgets and uh, we'll make another folder in here called chat and let's open that up and go use interface widget blueprint and we'll call this um, General chat WB. Okay. And then inside of our widgets folder, we're going to make another folder called textures. And we'll open this up. And when we'll go into here. And we'll bring in our, this chat back. And this Pokemon Charmander clip art thingy. So let's bring those in. And there they are. And go to widgets, make another folder, and we'll call this fonts. And open that up. And bring this comic 
cab in. And just say yes to all. And then open up this. Um, folder and bring in the Pokemon Hollow. Say yes to all and open this up and you can actually just leave that we've already brought that in. So we'll just leave that out. And I think we're about ready to make this widget. Okay. So let's go to our chat, open this up. And what we want to do here is have a vehicle box, uh, panels, vehicle box, and anchor it all the way to the bottom, and uh, make it offset, naught, and naught, and naught, and size Y. I don't know, we'll figure out the size now. We'll just do it look like this for now. Um, 0.5. And then we'll just make the offset that position y on 0. Well, that should be negative 0.5. Okay, never mind. Let's just drag this up. And let's just wrap it with a border. That border, uh, we're going to go down to brush over here, and we're going to look up our chat back. And then we're going to see that is. Let's just do it by eye. It's okay. So when we're talking to the character, we're going to be standing on this side, and they'll be over here, and here will be the text. Okay. So we can actually anchor this to the bottom right. And then on our vertical box, we want a text. And this text is going to have some padding on it top padding of something like 75 oh, let's make that 65 over less 63 even less 62 right, 62 is perfect and then we'll get some padding on the left and 23 uh, 143 and that would kind of do, I think. So it'll say Professor Oak. Uh, we'll go and choose the font. And we'll choose this Pokemon Hollow. And we'll just scoot it over a little bit more. Let's make this 340, oh, way less, so 280, 256, 250 looks like it will be perfect, and a little bit less on the top, so let's go 56, and that's perfect, okay, and then we're going to have another text on the vertical box. And this is going to be our body text. Uh, call it a variable and call this body text. Uh, and this one also needs to be a variable and we'll call this AI name. Okay. Yeah, and the body text is going to have some padding as well. This time of around 65, no, let's do 85, and that's all we'll do for that. Or what we'll actually 
to change the font to this comic cab and the color to black also this one's color to black and we can go on this comic cab one well actually let's just change it to the pokemon hollow yeah, it looks nice we'll give it an outline size one same thing for the top and there we go we should have a shadow on the bottom uh, ok let's just leave it like that <coughs> excuse me and then we need a button box and we want to justify this to the bottom right. right to the bottom full and to the right and then we'll wrap it in the size box the size box will be 100 by 100 and the button can be transparent of the content only the background and we need some padding and on the right we'll do 3-4 not on the button, sorry, on the size box itself. So padding on the right, 34. And on the bottom we can actually just leave it. Okay, so compile and save. And then we just need one more text on the button itself. It says OK. change the text to the Pokemon text. And that's going to be like our chat widget. Alright, so I think this video has gone on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. It's a bit late at the moment, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But in the next video we will talk to Oak and pick up our first Pokemon. Oh, let's just see, did we finish everything from the Charmander folder? Yeah, we did. Okay, so let's just do one last thing. Going to Actors and make a new folder here called Pokeballs. Open this up and click on Class, Actor, and I'll call this. Pokeball. And that is all that we'll do for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll probably pick it up next week sometime. But we'll get our Pokemon added and then we'll start our first battle and etc, etc, etc. Thanks for watching. Cheers.